It is an honor to be a part of tonight's ceremony and present Ed Cooley, Stonehill Class of 1994, for induction to the Stonehill Athletic Hall of Fame. Cooley was a four-year member of the men's basketball team at Stonehill from 1989 through 1994, serving as captain for three seasons. He played 107 games for Stonehill, helping the team to four Northeast 10 tournament appearances. Stonehill reached the Northeast 10 tournament, sorry, any 10 semifinals his senior year when he ranked among the conference leaders in rebounds. Since his graduation from Stonehill, Coach Cooley has positively impacted many individuals and communities through his teaching, mentorship, leadership, during a highly successful coaching career. Coach Cooley got his start in coaching at UMass Dartmouth before returning to his alma mater for the 1995-96 season as assistant for Coach Dave DeSantis. He then joined Coach Al Skinner at the University of Rhode Island and then Boston College, where the duo spent nine years together, winning three Big East regular season championships and the 2001 Big East tournament title. Coach Cooley took his first head coaching job at Fairfield University, winning nearly 100 games in five seasons with the MAAC championship and appearance in the NIT. In 2011, Coach Cooley returned home to his native Providence, where he was a two-time Rhode Island Player of the Year in high school to take charge of the Providence College Friars. Cooley has led the Friars to 162 wins, seven consecutive postseason tournament appearances, including a school record five straight NCAA tournament appearances, leading the team, in two, leading to the, team to the 2014 Big East Championship. Coach Cooley has also been heavily involved with USA Basketball. He served as an assistant coach for the USA under-18 team that earned a gold medal at the FIBA Americas Championship in 2014, as well as a gold at the 2015 World Championships at the under-19 level. This summer, Coach Cooley led Team USA as head coach at the Pan Am Games, winning a bronze medal in Lima, Peru. Stonehill previously recognized Coach Cooley with this Outstanding Alumnus Award in 2013, and tonight, please welcome for induction into the Stonehill Athletic Hall of Fame from the class of 1994, Ed Cooley. Well, I know y'all want to go home. <laughs> and I stand between you and that road, right? I came on the short bus because I, hey, I think I stayed at Stonehill longer than any student ever. I was not here for four years, I was here for five. And uh, today is my graduation, actually, so. <laughs> Thank you guys. I, you know, I'm very honored and blessed to be here with all the participants and all the inductees. I want to thank Dean and Father. Thank you for uh, bringing us back here. So many family and friends, Providence College, uh, my wife, a lot of uh, friends, teammates. What an incredible honor to come back here. And I think this isn't about us, the inductees. I think it's about the people who got you here. You know, there's going to be times we made layups, hockey pucks, kicking goals and all that. But this is more about you and you giving all of us the opportunity to be here. You know, this is my second Hall of Fame. The first one's in the bathroom, right? I won gold medals in there, right? <laughs> a lot, as have all of you. <laughs> but it is, it is truly, truly about you. And I think it's about the gratitude. I think it's about the opportunity that you, our adults, our parents, our wives, our friends, Stonehill College, what you gave to us, not what so much we have done to help other people. Without Stonehill, I don't think I would have had the opportunity to impact other parts of other people's lives. I think Stonehill offered me the opportunity to be different. It offered me the opportunity to be educated because I never thought in a million years somebody from Central High School will actually walk on the campus of Stonehill College. So I'm grateful to Ray Pepin. I'm grateful to Dave DeShannis, who is uh, a big brother. Uh, he's somebody who I admire and somebody who has been there with me since I was 14 years old. So Dave, thank you so much, brother. <laughs> these things, when you come to these, you know, you know, you see your family members, but you know, this to me was about seeing some of my teammates and some of my friends, as I see Jeff Potter, who 
flies around the country to support the Flyers. He and Lance Coderre, who are at the table there. Um, I see my wife over there, and she's very, very shy, but she's a person that puts up with a lot of the BS that I have to deal with and put her through. So I want to welcome my wife here. I think this is her third time at Stonehill. So, honey, this was like home for nine years, and I haven't graduated yet, all right? All right, so welcome, sweetheart. I want to end with this, and, and like these things here we're accustomed to, people who change your life, things that change your life. Thank you, Stonehill, for changing my life. There are many people in this audience that have changed my life. First and foremost was a C-Right name at 11 years old. C-Right name that took me in and gave me the opportunity to see things in a different light. And then my wife, who gave me two incredible children who are not here today, as my son is working and my daughter is at school, they changed my life. Then the athletic directors who offered me jobs and who I had an opportunity to work for at UMass Dartmouth, at Stonehill, at URI, at Fairfield, and then to me, one of the greatest people in the world is Bob Driscoll, who's here today. Those people changed your life. And in saying that, I think gratitude goes a long way. I think appreciation goes a long way. And I think generosity goes a long way. I think you have to give back. I, when I think of philanthropy, I think about all the philanthropy that's helped other young men and women reach dreams. And with blind generosity, you give to something where you'll never meet these people. You'll give to a cause where it's going to help uplift other people. When you come to these induction things, everybody talks about what they did. I was a terrible player. I was not a very good player, but what I was was a leader, somebody with a deep passion for other people, somebody who wanted to give back and make sure that other people smiled where they felt good about themselves. And that's why I appreciate Stonehill, because they gave me an education for five years. Five years. I saw a lot of shit in five years here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I really, really did. So in saying that, my wife and I, we want to endow a scholarship to make sure that somebody steps on this campus and understands what educational opportunity mean to them. It doesn't have to be a minority scholarship. It doesn't have to be for his, her, this, that. Give to somebody a person who needs help that one day they will be on this stage where they will give back. Because in order for that, absolutely. You just never know what life you're going to touch. I appreciate all of you for coming out today. I appreciate my, my Providence College family. I appreciate every, we all came here on a short bus for a reason. <laughs> and everybody who's on there belongs on there, trust me. <laughs> but I appreciate each and every one of you and congratulations to all the inductees as you are going to transform another life. I appreciate you guys. I love you all. Thank you, Stonehill College, and have a good night.